Hello legends and heli heads and choppers. Welcome to this video, which is a comparative video of single threading versus multi-threading. Now I've purposely ignored the other videos that have been put together out there. I'm sure they're very good, but I wanted to do this uh, and give my own interpretation of what it is that we're seeing. Now look, the world is run by geeks and those kids who used to sit on their own in the library in the corner. Sometimes you've just got to go back to basics and see it for how it is. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So a couple of things before we start. The first thing is that we need to make a change in the graphic lure file. It's very likely uh, that you've got it as a standard um, from your installation and therefore the frames per second will be capped at 180 and if you've got a particularly powerful processor it's very likely that you'll be pushing above that so in order to see the true um, comparator between single thread and multi-thread we need to make that change so right click on your DCS uh, shortcut go down to uh, property or open file location and once you've opened this thing go back to where it says DCS world and uh, into config and then you'll see the file named graphic lure right click on that select edit with notepad or you can just use notepad that's fine and then you want to find line 428 and change that from max fps to a higher number now i've already done some testing and i know that i'm pretty much not going to get over 300 frames per second so i'm going to change it to three uh, to 300 click on save close it and we're ready to go the second thing is to understand what we're looking at here i've got a still uh, image of the settings and you can look at that while i'm talking to you um, uh, to see what those settings are i won't go through those but the key thing is that um, throughout this whole flight which is in an f15 purely and simply because that renders the frames quicker the sim time is quicker than a helicopter um, but for the whole flight of about eight minutes um, every one minute and ten seconds or so uh, will crop up for three seconds this settings screen so that you can see that we are changing the graphic settings throughout so this whole video will cover all the graphic settings i.e. the anti-aliasing settings that you uh, can select at the minute you can see that we're going to be starting this with an MSAA of off and then that will go to 2 and then 4 and then 2 and 1.5 and so you get the point so every time this screen crops up all it's showing you is that we're now moving into changing the anti-aliasing settings and actually that much is clear when you look at the video the left hand side is the single thread the right hand side is the multi-thread now this whole video was put together with 14 different videos each about 10 gigabytes um, in size and screen size is 2560 by 1442k and the first settings we're looking at is off and you can see that on the left hand side there you can see it says MSA off and multi-thread on the right far left and far right you can see the the CPU and the cores and threads in this case is a 13900 k so there's 32 of them you can see right now that um, the multi-thread certainly has the edge over the single thread but you'll be surprised or perhaps not surprised to know that as we go on that multi-threading really comes into its own the higher those settings are cranked up and remembering we're only just cranking up the multi-sampling and super sampling and at 2k arguably that's probably counteractive particularly when it comes to pvp now we're moving on to times two and the reason why that's counter uh, productive if you like is because you just won't be able to see the enemy Now this comparator is quite interesting because you can see the single threading and the multi threading are you know, not far off each other, they're fairly level pegging. The CPU is about the same. And frames per second are dancing around each other. In fact on one occasion single thread was slightly higher. 
you can pull your own conclusion from what it is that you're seeing on the CPU activity for single thread and for multi-thread. But you can see the E cores on the 3900K pretty much sitting there doing nothing. On the single thread, arguably, the CPU is probably doing more. OK, let's have a look at times four. And again, look, uh, single thread and multi-thread dancing around doing a foxtrot. Pretty much the same. Uh, give or take 10, 15 frames or so. We've also got to remember this is a very powerful system. This is a 13900K, arguably the fastest processor in the world currently, and a 4080. That's no slouch. So, you know, the whole system is geared up for single or multi-thread. 5.6 gig on each thread, each CPU, it's not really that bothered. But say someone with a 9900 or someone even on a, a, a 6 series or a 4 series, you know, would benefit hugely from multi-threading, far better than actually someone with a more modern, up-to-date system with a very powerful graphics card in it and arguably, say, I'm going to say a 9 series and up CPU. As I said, I've on purposely not watched the other multi-threading videos. Now we're going to flick to times 2 and times 1.5. Remember, this is at 2K. So 2560 by 1440, a lot of people would fly in 1920 by 1080. And now we're starting to see multi-thread really leave single threading behind. A good 100 frames per second more, which is quite extraordinary really when you think about it. Um, or not, you know, only th three or four videos ago I pretty much said I reckon you'll be looking at three years before ED comes out with anything that's going to be meaningful and how wrong was I and I've been in the ED world so to speak for years years and years and years and years uh, and I was wrong as simple as that and I take my hat off to ED cap doffed for um, implementing multi-threading, even though it's early days. Look at that, 90 frames faster on multi-threading. Uh, and you can see the CPU activity on the right to the single thread. For those of you who've got 12th and 13th gen, where you see that your CPUs are parked, ignore that. Now we're ramping up to times two and times two. And again, now multi-threading is really coming into its own we can see that a single thread in your ironically CPU bound and that's not because your processor's not fast enough it's simply because it hasn't got the space Overgy, Overgy, Overgy. the CPU cycles to use in one CPU uh, and this is where multi-threading really comes into its own allowing those other CPUs to be used and of course different threads so the higher we crank up our graphics settings, the more multi-threading is going to help with your performance. Currently well over 120 frames per second faster. Fairly significant, isn't it? Now there is an ironicity to all of this, and that is that personally, even with a very fast computer, I'm not going to fly anything farther, faster than 60 frames per second, or 120 frames per second with multi-threading. Now we're on times 4 and times 1.5, really cranking up. Almost nobody flies with this sort of setting at 2K without some form of sync technology. But even then, look how the multi-threading is just destroying single thread now by 100 frames per second, there or thereabouts. Single threading really trying to catch up, but isn't that a sort of misnomer, the single threading? You can see yourself, it's not using one thread or one CPU, is it? It's using, in this case, all of the P cores, but just not very well. 
Um, and on the right hand side with multi-threading, again, you know, look at what it's using and how it's spreading the load over all of the cores. Even the E-cores are seeing some action. Very, very significant the higher your graphics settings. It's not just your GPU. Now we're going on to times four and times two. You can't go any higher than this. Uh, we're pushing 180 frames, you know, 176, 180 versus 64 for the single thread in 192. 198, 201. I mean, that is a huge, huge bump. A huge bump. And of course, this is exponentially relevant to the CPU that you're using. It is likely that, ironically, uh, that I, that someone with a, a, a very latest CPU will, of course, benefit, but not because I refer to my other videos. You know, you shouldn't really be flying with no frame rate cap system whether that's manually whether that's v-sync whether that's using g-sync or whatever you know there is absolutely no need for you to have it uncapped i personally like v-sync i think i've ratified that enough on the videos etc so there we go let's have a quick summary wow is what uh, we should all be saying ed have done a fantastic job even though it's early days for multi-threading the faster the CPU that you have and the higher you crank up your graphic settings, the more you're going to benefit from multi-threading. And that is relative to all uh, CPUs that have multi-threading capability. However, the video you've just seen there um, was in an F-15, which is arguably a fairly uh, easy and light aircraft to fly on the CPU in an empty map. And we know the CPU is tuned to work better with um, maps and missions where there are lots of units, lots of activity going on, um, and likewise with the various aircraft systems, some of the complex um, aircraft mechanics, uh, the CPU works with that and of course the electronics. So it's very likely that had I have done that video in say, I don't know, uh, a Harrier or an Apache, uh, then actually we wouldn't have seen the performance quite so large on the multi-threading. But there would have been parity to that which you would have seen in single thread. In summary, they've done a great job, um, but you're going to have to try it out yourself um, and see which one works for you. Multi-threading for me, I think, is definitely the way forward, even with a powerful CPU. But, as I said, slightly misnomic because I'm always going to capture at 60 frames per second if I'm recording and creating video content for Pelished. And if I'm not, it's going to be at 120 frames per second. And I can do that in single thread because I've got a powerful CPU. Many people have not. And for that, well, fair play ED. You've just opened the doors for high performance for pretty much everyone. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.